Well, by 2100, if unless a miracle happens for China, uh, which is quite unlikely, and uh, the population of China would be substantially smaller uh, than what uh, it is now. Uh, it could be 20% or even 30% smaller. Um, and so, uh, and also, it's not only going to be a smaller population, uh, this comes as a, uh, I think it's going to be a psychological uh, challenge for the Chinese population. And uh, <clears throat> uh, one is in only uh, five years, uh, China will no longer be the largest national population in the world. I think India is going to overtake uh, China as the largest population. And also China will begin a, a population decline. And it's a process that cannot be reversed uh, easily because of what do we say, the population momentum and uh, the age structure effect. So population would continue to decline. And uh, if indeed by the end of uh, this century, China is not going to be not only going to be not the largest population in the world, and that process is going to continue uh, throughout the century, uh, but 20, 30% smaller, uh, it's going to be a very different society. And I think uh, for the, you know, the, the longest history we know, uh, China has been the largest national population, uh, composing, making up a quarter, even a third of the world population. Now it's about fifth, and uh, by the end of the century, it would be the share would be even much smaller. I think psychologically, uh, that's going to be a uh, adjustment that the Chinese uh, population society would have to make. Uh, but substantively, China would uh, not only be a much smaller country uh, in terms of population by the end of the century, even before, uh, but it would be so much older. So we are really looking at 30% or even higher percentage of the population uh, would be an elderly person, 65, age 65 and over. So you're looking at one in every three. Um, so that is going to be a, a very different uh, population, not just the size, but also the age composition. 